Hello everyone, this is Flotscat, hold on. This is Flotscat, and welcome to another Honest Game Trailer. This time, uh, South Park Fracture Butthole Honest Trailers. I've been, I've been, finally got done with the game, and I can tell you, it was awesome. I actually have the game, here's my proof. Right by it, see? I have the game, and I already beaten it. It was okay. It was actually great. I can't really say okay because it was bad. It was awesome, but it was also cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Let's just be honest. That's a thing with this. And I, this caught my eye, and it's obviously from the guys who create Honest Trailers. It caught my eye because I didn't know they made a Honest Game Trailer of this. But hey, I'm ready to react to it. So if you guys want to watch the original video, it'll be down below. Just hope this thing doesn't get a copyright thing. I don't know how Comedy Central is very... I really tried to avoid copyright, but I do want to do this video. So let's see how good this goes. Let's go. Computer and information yep. science is the, all right. the studio that's all about inclusion. And the show that includes everyone by telling them all that they equally suck. <laughs> comes a faithful video game adaptation that answers the age-old question. Can you make a 16-hour game entirely out of fart jokes? Yes. Apparently, the answer is yes. South Park, the fractured butthole. Oh, now I get it. Really? <laughs> if you don't get the joke, it's because if you put the words together, it sounds like you're saying asshole. Like fractured butthole. Like, remove the W and put an RT by butt, and you got butthole. So, bitch. Maximum fan service. And hang out with the familiar faces of a series you followed on and off for years. As Ubisoft recreates the world of South Park with such accuracy that it feels like you're playing an actual episode. With new mechanics like the racial difficulty slider. Really? To launch a thousand think pieces. And an open world jam packed with callbacks that will constantly have you say, Hey, I remember that. Until they turn right around and mock you for enjoying the exact thing they are currently doing. Remember Steady Alpha 5? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> All the fucking grapes. A video game experience that stays true to the core message of South Park. Caring about literally anything is for losers. <laughs> Step into the tiny mountain town of South Park, Colorado. And get ready to wield your awesome fart powers once again. In the second iteration of Earthbound, but with racism. Oh! They just fucking called this game freaking Earthbound. It's not. <laughs> oh. Earthbound, no. Not Earthbound. <laughs> Is it worse that the fact that I actually have the first two games downloaded on my Wii U? Like, I have Mother 1 and 2. Like, for real. Got Mother 1 and Earthbound. As Fractured Butthole takes aim at superheroes, tearing up classic genre tropes like tragic backstories, oh. expensive villainous plots, and elaborate franchise plans, as a simple job of trying to find a cat for the reward money becomes a war between super teams, a nefarious criminal conspiracy, and a time travel plotline that brings South Park to the brink of disaster. Then fixes it all with Morgan Freeman ex machina. Because it wouldn't. Morgan Freeman ex machina. I feel like that's even a similar sense of how many times people use the word ex machina. Like, really? And you know the worst part? This is the reason why they deserve their name as honest trailers. Because they're very honest on what they're saying. Like, even though they make dark jokes, it's, like, trust me, I have seen, seen their videos already before. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I have proof on my channel. But the fact that how honest they are, like, it's not even like, they don't really care. They just know that it's true and nothing but it. And that's what I like about it. Because, yes, I've seen review videos before. I'm subscribed to Game Explain. But they're so, like, they're not afraid to hit the curve on everything. 
Also, to be fair, in my, and I'll get into this later probably when I review it after watching this, but yeah, the Ex Machia time travel sucked, admittedly. It wasn't a, it was a great finale, no lie, and it was hilarious, like the best finale I ever saw in a video game history. Aside from Pokemon X and Y, that's probably the most saddest one. But the fact that, and I won't, I was, won't spoil it, but the fact that how they got away with it is just hilarious. I didn't even expect it the way it end, really, but. Be a superhero story without casual retcons and last minute ass pulls. Return to a South Park that's mostly unchanged from the previous game. Really? And get ready to scour all over it again for collectibles. As you selfie your way through most of South Park's characters, search every nook and cranny for junk to craft a bunch of items that you don't really need, and use team-based fart powers to solve puzzles. You know, the sad part is that's not completely true. You actually do need to craft... Well, then again, you don't really need to craft up all those items. Instead, you do... I can see what they meant by that, but... You do need those items for your slots. But thank, but funny enough, due to how many times they give you items too much, it's so hilarious. They do. It's so, like, this game, if you, especially if you play it on easy, you can literally crush the game if you know what you're doing. It took me a while, but it really was good. But for some reason. Oh my god, what the discover a brand new battle system that digits the first game's turn based system for baby's first grid based RPG. First, where you'll pick from a plethora of classes with unique powers and skill sets and balance your skills with your other members. Then find out none of your choices matter because you get every class anyway. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> like, I again, I never fully played Tap Pack Fracture Butthole. Even, like, even beforehand of the game, I never truly got into the game. I saw, like, for example, a video right here. Like, I'll show you real quick. I seen a video like that right there, but I never truly known what the game was capable of. I didn't know that plot twist where, I won't say who give it to you, but he allows you to now use every ability in the game. Like... That's how crazy it was. So careful for some way. Yep. Huh. Even though it looked like it. Aww. That you might want to avoid if you're not one. Because without the warm, comforting lens of nostalgia, one long poop joke wrapped in an OK RPG probably isn't going to do it for you. Yeah. Story. I agree. The anal adventure. Ha! <laughs> the kingpin. Kingpin. Shadow man. Aww. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> the two-man tailor. Two-man tailor. Aww. Oh. Power bottom. The sugar knot. Fresh Ooh. prince of Bel Air. Oh, no! <laughs> Crunk Silver. Professor T. Aww. Oh my gosh. The very old show. The very old show. This game definitely goes places, but nothing quite tops dodging her dad's balls during a boss fight. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. We'd show you a clip of that, but we don't want to get demonetized or whatever. So, oh, here's some footage of a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so true, and I know that because I watch Blasphemous HD play that first game which funny enough that's a sequel oh wow okay well that was honest trailers again <laughs> it's like i say that that's like a meme or something that's waiting to happen but yeah that was honest trailers of set part fractures but whole and oh my gosh <laughs> uh, i see you i don't know what they did there but i think someone can get oh god their names are clever like Gosh, 
But yeah, that was that. And to be fair, the game, to my opinion, is actually pretty good. If I were to rate it, it will be... I do want to give it a high score, but there is some issues I do have with it. But I'll give it just a 92% goodness. Like a 90, 9.2% of greatness. Like, you know what I mean. Like, it's very good. It's a great game. The story, it's pretty good. It's pretty stupid, which must, which make it pretty good. Because, well, then again, it's a comedy show. You guys know that. And I do like the plot twists they do somewhat put in. Because some of them are pretty much, you will be surprised what they get away with. Like, the ending is literally probably one of my favorite endings of video game history of all time. Because I never saw, see it. Um, but the story is okay. It's basic. It really is just like the show is what you expect. And I do agree with what he said. Unless you're a big fan of the, the show, this may not be a game. This game will definitely turn off you. Like, I've seen some junk, and I, didn't, I won't blame them for making that joke of... Not trying to avoid demonetize because, uh, yeah, thank goodness they did that. They actually really did. Look in the description. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good game. I like how it's on the Switch now, and you know, I decided to give it a try and see how it worked. It works. The combat. He's not joking about one thing. The combat is not hard, especially if you play very easy. Where you just gotta build up some items and. Stuff like that. And it's pretty much a pretty good game. I like it because it definitely, it really is not just a, I guess it is kind of like a love lover if you're a fan of the show. But this is definitely a good way if people are interested of the series to get into. But I don't know how real, again, this series is not great. Not that good. I mean, shoot, even my brother knows because recently he's not stuff. But anyways, yeah, this has been Flox Cat reviewing freaking honest game crawlers. I gotta figure out what this clip note page will be. I think I know what it is, but I don't know. But yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and you know. I'm snapping out of here. Bye.